WGS84 is a global datum from where we measure our positions. But why do we also use local datum? And what is a local datum? WGS84 ellipsoid uses a smooth surface which fits the world like a glove. But what does that actually mean? Fits like a glove? Fits where? How? Let's see some of the basic ideas first, shall we? The geoid is the shape that the ocean surfaces would take under the influence of gravity of Earth, including gravitational attractions and Earth rotation, if other forces such as winds and tides were absent. This surface is extended through the continents. In simple language, geoid is based on gravitational model and it's a surface that follows the mean sea level but roughly follows the topography. This is an actual topographical surface and this is a mean sea level. The black line represents the geoidal surface and the green line represents the ellipsoidal surface. Green arrows are verticals of ellipsoidal surface and the black lines are plumb bobs, which is always perpendicular to the local geoid. Or I should say, these plumb bobs are local verticals, acts on the local gravity. So you can see that there is an angular difference between local verticals of ellipsoidal and geoidal surface. The red arrows indicate the height difference between ellipsoidal and geoidal surface. So what we learned from this, local verticals does not always everywhere matches perfectly and there is a big difference between geoidal and ellipsoidal surface. So this is an actual earth gravity model and this is a geoid which roughly follows the local topography and this is a global datum. Let's look at this marked area where the spheroidal surface has a big mismatch with the geoidal surface. Let's bring in the local datum made for only that region. See, here the datum surfaces matches very nicely. Let's zoom in on that area, shall we? You see, the local verticals matches very closely and there is not much of a difference between geoidal and ellipsoidal surfaces. So the origin of the local datum differs than the global datum and it is best fit for the region only. And equatorial and polar radiuses are different. There is already an established mathematical formula to convert global datum to local datum. So the question you should be asking, why do we need to use a local datum when a global datum is already there? Problem is, some of the local datums were established well before WGS84 and all the survey maps of these countries were established on local datum. And change is hard and it costs money. My aim here is to promote simple awareness and interest in the most simplified form where you can explore and learn more and decide yourself. I would really like to get your feedback and happy to answer any queries you may have. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.